Hi, it's Rob Moore here. Now, I don't know if you saw the Oscars. I love to watch the Oscar speeches. I'm sure you've seen many famous ones. Now, the reason I love to watch the Oscar speeches is I really love seeing amazing actors who are the top of their field. I love learning from the most successful or, or what perceived to be talented people across the planet. What can I learn? How can I inject that into my own life and business? And for sure, one of those people, one of those really inspirational people is Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, obviously, he just won an Oscar very recently. And I thought I'd just sort of analyse his speech for you, because whilst it wasn't the, the tearjerker of maybe the Gwyneth Paltrow, it was, for me, it was like a personal development seminar. It was like being a, a business and personal development event on how to be a leader and how to conduct yourself, how to serve others and give value and how to be humble and how to use that platform, you know, that stage in front of millions of people to do great things. Now, maybe all of us, you watching, we're gonna get our 15 minutes, we're gonna get our chance in front of the world. And I think if we had our chance for 15 minutes and we gave a speech like Leonardo DiCaprio did, that would have been the most amazing use of that time for our own personal brand, but for the greater vision of humanity. So basically, he uh, made sure he honoured and humbled and thanked everybody who brought him up. And I think remembering who brought you up, you know, Scorsese's first uh, a director, and he mentioned a couple of names of people who sort of found him or gave him a chance. And uh, I think it's really important to, to stay humble because, you know, you're building your confidence, you're building your confidence, you're building confidence, you get good, maybe get a bit overconfident. Maybe you forget all the people along the way that helped you that gave you a chance when you weren't as confident. Uh, and I think it's really important to uh, honour the team. You know, Leonardo DiCaprio for his Oscar and Revenant couldn't do that without a great script writer, without a great cast, with, without Tom Hardy, his great uh, co-star. You know, without all the passion and inspiration and, and, and help and assistance of the whole crew. And he really honoured everyone and thanked them. And I thought that was amazing. He was, he was humble in giving the credit rather than taking the praise, going, look at me, I'm amazing. And uh, that I first learned that in uh, an amazing book called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Uh, and, and a great law of business and life is to give the credit to the people in your team who've brought you along, who are with you. Yes, you're the leader and the visionary. Give the credit to them. And then when things go wrong, take the responsibility, take the blame, take the heat, step up, show that you can handle it, show that you're strong enough, and they'll be even more inspired by you. So I thought that was amazing. He, he also talked a lot about sustainability of the planet and how we have a responsibility to help people, to help the planet, of course, with climate change and everything else. And, you know, he, he's a real ambassador of that. And uh, I'd say him and Arnold Schwarzenegger and other maybe mentors and heroes of mine have really got me more interested in helping more people globally and having that nice balance between self-interest and humanitarian interest. Because, of course, he's made tens or hundreds of millions of pounds out of films. So there's no doubt he's got a lot of self-interest and that's okay because he's balancing it perfectly with global interest and giving back and make, using his fame and his brand and his marketing channels to keep us more aware of what we've got to do to help the next generation and so on. So don't get overconfident, but also believe in yourself. Stay humble, give the credit to your team, thank your team, honor where you've come and the people that helped you along the way and use your stage to make a difference to more people. And also, you're allowed to make a nice living doing it.